Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about stretching how many as far as I can. And today's video is a normal weekly grocery haul. Um, I've been to Lidl as usual and um, I'm going to show you what I bought and the meal plan for the week and how much that works out at per person for, for the week. Um, <clears throat> My budget for the week is between 40 and 50 pounds and we are a family of four basically adults <laughs> um, including two teenage lads with hollow legs um, and I'm finding it tricky to stick within the 40 to 50 pounds a week and this week I've gone over a little bit because I've spent 55 pounds and 21 pence kittens just come in <laughs> um, but I'm okay with that I, I'm very aware of how prices are going up and I do try and stay within the 40 to 50 pounds um, and if I can't I can't I've still got to feed the boys we still need to eat and um, so if I go a little bit over I go a little bit over it's not the end of the world for me we can do that a little bit um, but it's much better than me going to the super. But you know, budgeting and aiming for between forty and fifty pounds a week is much better for me than just going to the supermarket and buying whatever without a plan, without a budget in mind. Because if I do that, I'll come home with a hundred pounds worth of groceries every week, and we don't need to be doing that right now. <laughs> so fifty-five pounds and twenty-one pence this week, which works out at. £13.80 per person for the week. Um, we've got some good food, some great meals coming up. None of it's terribly exciting. Um, I'm not ever going to be on MasterChef. <laughs> but it's good family food that everybody in this house can and will eat. Um, for those of you who don't know, we do have food limitations um, in this house. Of varying kinds including allergies and dietary requirements for health reasons and all sorts of things that interfere with what we eat so if you're looking at this food thinking oh why isn't there any X Y or Z in that um, shopping hall it may be because somebody in this house can't eat it or um, so we don't include it um, obviously I'm not going to buy things that um, can't be eaten by people. Um, so I'll show you the meal plan and then I'll show you the groceries that I've bought to make those meals. So here's our meal plan for this week. It's pretty much the same as usual for breakfasts and lunches. As I said last week, I tend to be a toast for breakfast, sandwich for lunch kind of a gal, so that's what I tend to think of doing. If anybody else wants anything different, they can say. I always ask the family, you know, is there anything that you fancy this week? Um, but uh, this is what we have in for breakfast and lunches, so we've got toast. There's always some jam in the fridge with a buy jam. Um occasionally and then it sits in the fridge and doesn't always get eaten for a long time it does eventually but it takes a long time so I'm putting jam down on the list as an option but it's pretty unlikely anybody will eat it <laughs> on a regular basis um, peanut butter, honey, marmite, eggs and bacon are all breakfast options I do occasionally get some cereal but um, we have a pack of cereal that's not being um, eaten much at the moment so I won't buy any more until that's gone. And then salads and sandwiches and I'm just starting to think maybe that needs to be soups and sandwiches because <laughs> the weather's cooling down. Um, but we have ham, salami, cheese, cheese spread, biscuits. There's always a lot of salad. At the moment we're still eating um, cucumbers and tomatoes from the garden. And then for our evening meals this week, um, I'm going to make a lasagna, which will do us for two nights. Um, the lasagna dish is huge. Um, and 
I've got some cabbage so I will make my part of the lasagna with cabbage leaves, blanched cabbage leaves instead of pasta as I eat low carb. I don't eat keto, I don't eat very very low carb, I aim for under 100 grams of carbs a day. Um, so I do eat little bits of this and that, sometimes have a bag of crisps, that kind of thing. We've got chicken Kiev, chips and frozen veg. Um, chicken stir fry, so um, we've got some chicken legs which you'll see in the shopping hall in a moment. And I'll use those to make a stir fry one night and a chicken dinner another night. We'll have our favourite quick and easy tea which is pasta, pesto and sausages. That is exactly what it sounds like, although we do add usually start it by frying off an onion and some garlic and usually add some veggies of some kind, often sweet corn because that's a favourite veg in this house. And then one night I'll make macaroni cheese. We have some bacon left from last week which I can use up to put through that and I'll put some, we quite like frozen peas through macaroni cheese or um, other frozen veggies so um, we'll add some of those depending on what we've got at that point in the week. So that's our meal plan for the week for £13.80 per person per week. I'll show you the groceries. So we have got a pack of 12 pork chipolata sausages. A pack of, it looks as though there are four or maybe even five small um, chicken legs in there. They'll do two meals. I've got two packs of mince. One is pork and one is beef. The pork's cheaper so I mix it in with the beef. Uh, it's just as tasty and um, makes the dishes go further. So I'll make a lasagna with that which will be big enough to do us for two days. Um, I picked this up for Sam for one of his packed lunches at work because it was reduced and it's Peruvian style rice and quinoa created as a salad or with chicken and he loves that kind of thing for his lunches at work. Got four garlic and herb chicken cubes, two packs of spicy salami, these are for lunches and two different types of cheese spread for breakfasts and lunches hummus for lunches, carrots, this will be for lunches and evening meals, two tins of sweet corn and my youngest has asked to make pesto for tea one night, it will probably be tonight so I've got a couple of packs of basil and I picked up some parmesan cheese as well which I'll show you in a minute and we've got all the other ingredients um, we have six pints of semi-skimmed milk, 24 Jaffa cakes, 80 decaf tea bags for me. Um, I love my tea, as you know. Um, I do try and have decaffeinated, either regular tea bags or red bush tea. So um, I have plenty of tea bags actually to last me, at least this week. But I like to have a box in reserve. Heaven forfend, I should run out of tea, folks. <laughs> um, a large bag of onions, some ham and red leicester. They'll be used for lunches and the red leicester will be used on things like the lasagna. pack of lasagna sheets and some pasta. We'll only use one of these for an evening meal this week, but um, one of my sons particularly likes... Um, to make himself some pasta pesto for a snack at some point so he doesn't like us to run out bless his heart <laughs> so I've got an extra one for him he'll have that for lunch or late night scoffing <laughs> uh, so we have medium egg noodles that's a pack that serves three as I as you know I don't eat pasta Pes uh, pasta rice I eat a tiny bit of potato in the form of crisps sometimes <laughs> 
um, but I don't eat noodles either so that just needs to serve three a jar of bolognese sauce for sweet things we've got some Viennese whirls and angel slices and I might do a little bit of baking in the week with the view to doing some baking I've got two packs of butter this week um, we use just about one pack a week between the four of us um, sometimes we went over a little bit this week so um, it'll be useful to have that one and if I do some baking it'll be useful to have that so I've got three garlic baguettes and two, two packs of these bake at home baguettes and they've got a good date on them they're good until the 14th of September 22 so I'll put those in the pantry for use on a day when we need something quick and easy and haven't got any bread or you know that kind of thing um, so I've got some parmigiano reggiano to make the pesto with but it'll also be used for other meals as well um, it lasts a long time in the fridge and I managed to get some more munchkin and pumpkins this week um, they didn't have any last week at Little, but they had a few in. They had about ten left in a box, so I picked out the four that I thought looked nicest. Um, because me and Sam really enjoyed it a fortnight ago, having these stuffed with bacon and cream and a bit of cheese on top. <laughs> they were really good. So we will have... The, the boys aren't interested in this kind of... They don't like courgettes, pumpkins... Um, any kind of squash really so it, this will be two each for me and Sam so we'll have one each one night and one each another night um, I did want to say these are munchkin pumpkins a lot of people commented on um, small pumpkins and how they didn't know they were edible and some of them aren't um, but these are munchkin pumpkins, which is a particular variety. I've tried to grow on the allotment once when we had an allotment, and I wasn't very successful, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but these are edible pumpkins, so it's always worth just checking, um, because these taste great, and ones that aren't cultivated for eating, that are more cultivated for appearance and decor, may not be as tasty. Um, so it's worth just checking picked up half a dozen eggs although I've just been out to let the hens out to roam around the garden and there were three three lovely eggs in the egg loo for me <laughs> so um, but they aren't laying as often now it's a bit the days are shorter and it's colder um, so I've bought some eggs and a loaf of white sliced bread so that's what I've picked up for this week for our meals I will add we have a lot of things in the cupboard and in the fridge. I have potatoes in the fridge, I still have some Savoy cabbage in the fridge, I've got quite a lot of tomatoes, um, we've got a pepper left from the red orange pepper left from last week's shop. Um, so I haven't needed to buy too much and I did pick up, I don't know if I showed you this, but I did pick up from Olio. A uh, free loaf of bread, two packs of ham and four big oranges Hooray! earlier this week. Um, so, yeah, there are other things going on, but I don't spend any more than I spend on this. Um, oh, and somebody um, at the place I used to work in gave me some apples as well from her apple tree because she's a bit overrun. So food comes in from other places, which is wonderful. <laughs> and then I did stock up a little bit for the pantry. Um, I bought another jar of this um, yeast extract. Because um, we usually get Marmite brand, but I've tried this one. I bought one the other week and I've tried it and I, I'm quite happy with it. So I bought another one to be in store. Another tin of sliced mushrooms and I picked up one of these jars of vegetable salad from um, the Polish section in Lidl and as you can see it's cabbage, let me read you the ingredients. I've had these before, I really like them. 
So it's white cabbage, carrots, gherkins, onion and red pepper um, in water and salt, vinegar, a little bit of sugar, antioxidant and spice extracts. And these are really nice. I've had them before and this the date on this there we are is the first of August 2024. So I'm gonna put that in the pantry for a day when we are low on veggies and want something nice and crunchy to go in a sandwich or on the side. That's really good and it's a the drained weight is 410 grams of actual food. So yeah, I mean if you like this kind of thing, I can certainly recommend these. It's a great way of storing something fresh and crunchy in your pantry. It's a bit nippy today, I've got my cardio on. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry as well, there's some, um, I think some of the trees are being worked on out behind the house so there's a bit of sawing going on so I hope that's not too noisy. You might not be able to hear it but I certainly can. Um, so yeah, there's the grocery shopping for the week and a couple of bits to put away for long term storage. Um, I didn't include, I realised, the munchkin pumpkins in the meal plan explicitly but that's just because me and Sam will have those, the boys won't eat them and we'll just have them as a side with something else so we might have, just looking at my meal plan, we might have, um, we might have them with some roast chicken as part of the roast chicken dinner, that kind of thing so I haven't specified them. If we were all eating it I would have put them in but uh, um, the boys aren't fans of squashes. So there we go, that's our meal plan for this week. I hope that's useful for you and helpful and I hope you're all doing okay. Um, finances are quite tough at the moment for a lot of us and um, yeah I hope you're doing okay and getting help if you can when you need it. Um, I'll be back again really soon with another video. You take care now. Bye for now.